ليس الغريب غريب الشام واليمن إن الغريب غريب اللحد والكفن إن الغريب له حق لغربته على المقيمين في الأوطان والسكن لا تنهرن غريبا حال غربته الدهر ينهره بالذل والمحن We will answer together one question. The question that every believer asks about. The question is how to increase our Iman. If somebody wants to have a softer heart and he want to upgrade his level of faith, the Iman, what is the solution? The answer is so simple, as simple as concern so much about the fara'id, the obligations. Because the, there is a shaitani trick make some students of knowledge. They concern so much about some branches and they forgot about the main things in Islam. For example, we have many of us concerned so much about Salat al-Taraweeh in Ramadan but they don't care if they miss Salat al-Dhuhr, for example. That's the ignorance. Believe it or not, Salat al-Dhuhr once, one Dhuhr, is better than the Taraweeh for the duration of your life. One Dhuhr is better than the tahajjud for the life. Why Allah make the fara'id fara'id? Why he make them obligations? Because Allah loves the obligations more than he loves the nawafi. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah loves the obligations in everything, even in the knowledge. The obligatory knowledge is more important and more rewarded than the extras and the nawafi. So we have to love what Allah loves more. What Allah loves more, we have to love it more. We have to concern about the fara'id, the obligations, the wajibat in our lives more. I'm not saying ignore the nawafil and the sunan. I'm not saying that. But we have to concern more about the fara'id. Then, after the fara'id, when we fulfill the fara'id, we have five points to increase our Iman. Five different categories. If you try these five things, but again and again, after that, huh? the fara'id. We have to concern about the fara'id more and then work in these five categories. Number one, Qira'at al-Qur'an bitadabbur. Reciting the Qur'an 
by deep thinking in the meanings of the Quran. This would increase your level of Iman, will upgrade your faith. You have to have daily word homework. Bottom line, you can't sleep without reciting your word from the Quran. Could be one juz, could be ten juz, could be one page. Every person according to his ability. But to be a Muslim with no word of the Quran, that's very bad. You have to have daily homework, daily, every single day. You can recite it after Fajr, after Isha, after between the Adhan and the Iqama in each prayer, as you like. You choose the time. Give the brothers. I, I have one already. Give give this also. The companions of the Prophet وسلم, they used to finish the Quran every seven days. That's their word. Every seven days they finish the whole Quran. So they have khatma weekly. They, they, they read every day and every week they finish the Quran. The other week they finish the Quran. They have khatma every week. Weekly khatma of the Quran. If you cannot do this, you can you can do it every two weeks, every three weeks, every month, no problem. But you have to have word. And you have to think about the meanings. Even though if you can't understand Arabic, you have to look what Allah is saying to you. Because this Quran is not something for somebody else. It's for us. Why, when a companion of the Prophet listened to a verse, he understand different than us? Because they considered the Quran as personal letters coming to them personally from above seven heavens, from the creators. You imagine that the president of your country sending you a letter. What are you going to do with this letter? Are you going to put it over the shelf, reading it like you read the newspaper? Or you may read it and memorize what's in it. And you may put it in a nice frame and put it on the wall in the best place in your house. Because it's coming from the president. The companions of the Prophet ﷺ, that was their understanding. When Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, He's talking to whom? To us. It's us calling us. That's why Abdullah ibn Abbas used to say, when you hear Allah saying, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, you have to listen carefully. Because he's talking to you. Allah is talking to you. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu. Yes. Huh? The one who created me, talking to me. Imagine. Just imagine. They consider 
the ayat personal letters coming to them from above seven heavens from the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Quran is the words 